I want to consider the following reaction with the provided Kc value at 800 degrees Celsius. I notice it says I've got initial concentration and then I'm wanting to find the equilibrium concentration only of one term this time. So again, I see initial, I see equilibrium. Ah, I've got to use rice. So that's the first thing that we want to do is set up the rice table. So when we set up the rice table, we write down the reaction. So I recopied the reaction. I need to write down my initial concentrations, which they provided for me, and then the change. And remember, I'm losing reactants, so it's minus. I'm gaining product, so it's a plus. And then I added straight down, and I went ahead and put it in a different color so that we can kind of make sure that it pops and remember what we're looking for. Well, it provided me a K sub C, so I need to use K sub C. It tells me what the value is, so I'm going to go ahead and write that down. And then I just need to do the formula for finding K sub C. And if you recall, it is the concentration of the product. This is squared because it's got a 2 in front times the concentration of the other product over the concentration of the reactant. I notice there's a 2 as a coefficient, so it's squared. And then what am I going to do? Well, I'm going to plug in what I got for my equilibrium. So I'm going to put in 0 0.100 plus 2x squared times x. And then I'm going to put that over 0 0.100 minus 2x squared. I don't know about you, but when I look at that and there's something squared on the top and there's something squared on the bottom and they're not the same, it bothers me. I think, gosh, that's going to be a whole heck of a lot of math that I'm going to have to do. Well, if you remember, there is an approximation to determine if you have to actually do that. And what is that approximation? Well, remember you take the value of K sub C, so the 1.67 times 10 to the minus 7, and then I'm going to divide that by the initial concentration, 0 0.100. And when I solve that, I get 1.67 times 10 to the minus fourth. But I need to make sure you remember that's a percentage, so I did multiply by 100. Now, if that number is less than 5%, remember I can do an approximation. And yes, it is less than 5%, so remember the approximation is okay. Now, what does that mean to do the approximation? Well, this turned into a really easy problem, right? So if we approximate, that means we're going to get rid of the plus 2x and the minus 2x. So what we have that was really hard turns into simply 0 0.100 squared times x over 0 0.100 squared. Oh, well, hey, check that out. The next thing that you notice is what? These two cancel because they're exactly the same. So that means that 1.67 times 10 to the minus 7th is going to equal to x. So the equilibrium concentration of the x, s sub 2, excuse me, is just x, so we just write down the Kc value. So make sure that even though that's the answer and it looked simple after the fact, you must do this approximation rule, and it must be less than 5% in order to do the approximation.